Hey, welcome back everybody to another deep parking cat video. We're here <sighs> with some more Slay the Spire. Dude, I didn't even say the name of the game last game. What is wrong with me? <laughs> but yeah, we're here in Act 2. There's a total of three acts to this. And we're picking up right where we left off in the last video. So if you want to check out the last video, it's up here in the in the little card over here in the corner. So go ahead and click on that. And if you like this video, go ahead and just give me a like and maybe i'll subscribe if you're feeling crazy today so yeah so if you want to know what kind of cards i got in that first act or if and if you want to hear me explain the game yeah go ahead and check out that video but anyways let's just jump into it so i'll explain a little bit here and there but typically but yeah so that way for those that are watching this one first there is another video before this so go ahead and check out that one uh, so this is bad i'm gonna have to use a double block but they're gonna take all my money. Do I use this? That's scary. I don't know if I should use this. But nah, I'll, I'll hold off on that because I want to upgrade it first because these guys are gonna hit me hard. Thankfully, I weakened them so they don't hit me too hard. Dang, are none of them going for like a. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna do double this. And defend. Nice. Oh, that's bad. Can I? Oh, shit. Now I regret not attacking the other guy. But I'm going to have to use my flame barrier, sadly. But that's fine. I don't want to take too much damage. Because I've already taken 13 damage in this single fight. So uh, so that guy's going to... Also, these guys, every time they hit you, they steal your money. So, oh my gosh. Is this going to kill him? Please kill him. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, so yeah, they steal your money if you don't kill them at the end of their- before they run away. Oh my gosh, please give me like all the strikes in the world. Okay, so I'm gonna do this just to upgrade and nice. Oh, I wanna use feed, but I don't want him to take my money, so nah. Get dead, fool. <laughs> Ooh, this one's pretty good. Uh, nah. I do like question marks. Question marks can be really good. Oh, yes, please, please. There's a single book that you can get from this that is insane. Oh, I didn't get it. Uh, so, there's a card that allows you to play. Actually, that's pretty cute. Oh, actually, no, this book is pretty insane, too. I remember this book. Nice. So this is a pretty good play already, man. So we got Juggernaut, which deals damage to him for every block I play. And then also was able to use Flame Barrier. So I was able to deal damage back to him. Also, I like I like duplicating Feed because it's such a good card that I would just want to have multiple of. That way, in case I go to a turn where I don't have a Feed, at least there are like two of them in my deck instead of just one, you know? Also, Ethereal is pretty crazy. 20 damage for a 2 cost card. That's crazy. Oh, he's going for 15 damage. Oh, I'm going to have to go for the kill, don't I? Or I can just use this and then just wait. I could. If if I don't get feed in the next turn, then... Oh, wait, is that going to... Oh, I don't have Flame Bear. Come on, baby. Oh, I can wait. I just won't I just won't do anything this turn, that's fine. Gimme feed, I need to heal some health back. Yes. Boom. And that gives me brings me up to 108 health and 96. Dropkick is pretty good. I do like dropkick. Okay, especially with shockwave, that would work great for shockwave. The exact same card again. Okay, so they're all going for an attack let's go ahead and duplicate feed because there's are multiple enemies in here so yeah <sighs> these enemies can be quite annoying especially when there's three of them but thankfully i have enough cleave items i hope oh that was not actually wait 
I think I can kill one of them with drop kick. Ah, oh, so sad. These stupid wound cards. If they were like an attack card, that would have been so much better. Or flame barrier, but I already knew that. Okay. This is about to be pretty scary because they're already getting pretty strong. Might as well make them weak. Nice. Um, I might as well. I wanted to use Berserk, but that would also make me vulnerable and allow them to deal more damage, which I do not want right now. Ooh, Ethereal, that's such a clutch card. Watch this. I can probably kill... I... No, I can't. I'm just going to make sure to kill one of them and use a block. Um, baby, give me some feed. Oh, that would have been so good if I did get one. Ugh. I don't have any... It's not really worth it, is it? No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to wait around. If it was a different enemy, then yeah, but not for this enemy. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, I want an enemy. Give me some enemies. It's gonna be... Oh, dude. This enemy is probably the most annoying enemy. In my opinion, this guy sucks, bro. I hate fighting this enemy so much because look he immediately starts out with 21 damage 21 damage that's not fair <laughs> that's insane oh, I don't I want to use it but then again at the same time I do not I don't like that potion get that out of here. okay yeah dude why I guess Flame Barrier is my best card in this instance. Even though I'm going to take 9 damage. At least I'll be able to do some damage back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, good job, good job. Sadly, I already lost Feed. I'm just going to have to kill him with Carnage. Yeah. Oh well. Better than kill him than to take 18 damage back. Oh, that's such a good card. Battle Trance is a great card. Now, the, there's a certain boss in this area that will completely destroy me if I run into him, which I do not, ugh, I want to, but at the same time, I do not. Like, you know what? I'm just going to go here, go here, I'm going to upgrade Berserk, and now that makes it more viable in combat with just one vulnerable. Having two vulnerable, that's pretty spooky to me, actually. <gasps> Ooh, extra potions. Please don't be the three enemy. Oh, this is going to be scary. This is quite scary because these guys all they do is just do damage which doesn't make any sense to me but sure why not just allow them to do insane amounts of damage you know might as well just draw cards oh I don't know what to do here I'll do this I can weaken the others I still have two I could feed on him just to get some health. Or, dude, 25. Or I can one-shot this guy. What to do here? What to do here, man? Do I feed now? Maybe I shouldn't. What card did I use that took away all my... Uh, I... Hmm... Killing the Taskmaster doesn't masker doesn't do anything for me. I'm just gonna feed. Probably not the best play in this instance, but you know it might work. Also, I'm gonna lose Carnage because I didn't play it this turn, sadly. But I'm thinking for the long, for in the future, I'm thinking about the future. Okay, this worked out pretty great because now this kill that guy. Might as well just put some block on and boom. Easy speezy. That, see, that wasn't so bad. But, the, but that's because I had to use my potion. Which I did not want to use. I allow him to kill himself. Actually, no. I don't want to take the one damage that I take at the end. Nice. That's actually kind of huge. Another perfected strike. 
Nice. <gasps> Choose a skill, start the combat with that skill. Oh, that's actually quite crazy. Should I do armaments or should I do battle transfer to draw cards? I feel like, okay, hear me out. I may have just put a gray card. Oh, demon form. No way I start out with demon form and I could upgrade it. Oh, this guy's so dead. So the thing about demon form is that it's my favorite card because at the at the beginning of every turn you gain three strength and if you don't know strength is crazy especially when you're gaining it every turn oh my goodness yeah it just makes all your strong all your cards stronger oh i freaking hate this guy dude he makes my block cost three you know freaking might as well just go for the heavy damage to be honest 15 damage is so much damage it's fine. So, he applied me with confusion, which whenever I draw a card, its cost is random noise. Random noise. Pretty sure I can't speak English. I think I can kill him. I'll have to use my potion, which I just got, but that's to prevent five damage. So yeah. Ooh, another battle trance. It's so good to have multiple of those cards. Now all I need is some seeing red. Ooh, this is such a good store. Okay, let's look at the artifacts. Upgrade two skills. That could be good. Mm. Having a blood potion is good too. Five regeneration. This pummel goes great with strength, but I don't have my... Ooh, this one is great to have, actually. And I'll just pick up this one. Please be good. <gasps> Seeing... Oh, those are great cards. Those are great cards. So upgrade. Dude, let's go. Okay, I, dude, I have a great feeling about this one, actually. Choose a 1 of 20 cards or sleep. Nah, 1 of 20 cards to add to my deck. Nothing great. Fiendfire isn't really that good. I don't, I don't understand the use of Fiendfire, actually. Maybe Juggernaut? What do I add here? Hmm. Warcry is not bad. I do like Headbutt, but Headbutt's not here. So maybe Juggernaut, dude? I guess, yeah, Juggernaut's fine. Let's go here. It's an encounter. Well. Oh, that's a pretty bad card to start out with, but it's fine. We'll start with that one, and might as well use... It. Might as well use that just to prevent uh, it from exhausting. Which, oh, I guess I haven't explained. So when you exhaust the card, it goes into a pile which you cannot use for the rest of the battle. So, yeah. Also, I can make it so that guy does not deal any damage. Of course I get feed. Yeah, I'll just make him weak. Why not? Of course I get feed, dude. That's so upsetting. Maybe I shouldn't have used that. Oh, well. I shouldn't have used it when I have such little energy. That's true. Oh, yeah. Having... Please hit him. No, why did it go for him? I'm gonna go for it, dude. I'll go for it. I did increase his damage by 50%, but it's fine. I can take it. Woo! Oh, yeah, because I still have that potion, huh? Ooh, the other guy is going to hit me hard. And I can't do anything about it. Are you serious? Oh, these cards are so lame, dude. Oh, that's such a bad draw. Ooh, 13 damage? So unnecessary. Did not need it. Of course, I get all my defensive cards when he's not attacking. Oh, I could have doubled that card and ended it right there. Dang. Dang, dude, I'm making bad plays so far. Hm. Oh, yeah, because those those cards exhausted. That's right. Oh, please. There's no way this happened. There's no way, dude. He's going to do 22 damage. Oh, that's... Wait. I, no, he's still dead. Because those cards are going to exhaust, correct? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, no, they should do it. Okay. Ah! 
Oh my goodness, that was insane. We'll do Wild Strike, why not? Huh. Oh, that's a good car to have too. Oh, I should have upgraded that before anything. I'm just gonna use Vulnerable now. Even though that does make him stronger. And some more strength. I'm going for some big strength right off the bat. So yeah. Just one damage is fine. So he's got two. So the thing about... Okay, come on. Give me one more attack. How... I was about to say, how did I not get another attack? I was about to cry. Nice. So that knocked him out of that state. Also, the reason why he didn't die as fast because that character has 50% reduction whenever he's flying. But the way to knock him out of his flying state is to hit him three times in a single turn. And that basically makes him, like, unusable, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I could have gotten two ethereals. What is wrong with me? Actually, adding more strikes to my hand actually makes... Do I still feed left? Nice. Actually makes my perfect strike stronger, doesn't it? Yeah. Because that's more strikes in my hand. Ooh. I'm upset. Actually, wait. No, there's no way I'd be able to kill him this turn. It has to give me seeing... Okay, actually, no. This is perfect. I would have liked to have one more energy, but this is great, actually. Yes, because now I should be able to kill him with feed as long as I draw it. Please let me draw it. That's going to instant kill him. No! No! If only he had one less health. Oh, that's upsetting. That is upsetting. If I just got on cleave instead, too. Damn. Dang. I mean. Uh, another strike could be kind of crazy. But this one's also good, though. Ah, I'm just going to go for more strikes in my hand. I'm going to use this one to heal, which I get super heal. Yeah, dude, that almost brought me up to full health. Because you bring, you heal a percentage of your health. Oh, this guy's a... No thanks, I'd rather not use that. My first turn game. Mm, so vulnerable into a perfected strike. Dude, that's a lot of damage right off the bat. Nice, nice. Oh, I should have used drop kick. Frick, what was I thinking? That's okay. Do 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 do. Oh, this is such a bad turn, man. But might as well use this right now. Why not? Even though that just allowed me to take so much damage. Probably not the best play, but frick it, dude. Oof. I'm already at half health. That's not good. This is an exhaust card. I'd rather not use it already. I'd rather keep seeing red when I really need it. Plus, using it right there would not have given me any advantages. But now I have an extra energy each turn, so that's clutch. Ooh, that guy. Oh, nice. See, this is why I have a ton of cleaves, just for these instances. Okay, nice. And I had Dark Shackles just for emergencies. Okay, now we can start wearing down on the big dude. What do you mean I'm yours, bro? I'm taken. I ain't yours. I ain't nobody's. Get your paws off me, bro. <laughs> oh, this is a bad turn. Mm. 23 damage is a lot of damage. I guess I can make it 20 damage. <laughs> I'm going to try my best not to use my, f my healing potion. Because I'm going to heal back to full health at the end of this anyways. So yeah. Mm, go ahead and give me some more cards. Why not? I guess give me more defense, but... It's a shame that I am... That I have Frail on, which makes them my defense weaker. This isn't good, dude. This guy is putting a smackdown on me right now. Absolute smackdown. Ooh, I might have to use my healing potion, but as long as I get to keep fairing a bottle, I'll be fine. Oh man, why did I have to wear off? 
actually, can I kill him this turn? Oh, I totally can. Oh, he's so dead. Do, do I... But I have feed next turn. I mean, there's no harm in waiting, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Yeah, so there is no negative about waiting, correct? I see. Oh, uh, but I still have boom. Nice, let's go. And I get to finish him off with the that was see. Look, I knew this would be a perfect run for the oh. Impervious is such a good card with Juggernaut, with actually Barricade. No, yeah, Barricade. I think this is a card. I would choose this, but I'm not sure. I actually want this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's probably the best card that gives you energy, because all the other ones have a negative effect. So yeah. Mm. Mm, dude, I really want to go to the store. All right. Oh, shoot. What, what are we at? We're at 21 minutes. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. So, dude, I hate ending it right here. But I have to... Ooh. Actually, no. You know what? I'll fight this guy just for you guys. Just for a little more. Ooh, nice. A free metalize. I mean, might as well use this since... I don't think these guys can die. Oh, they can die. They just revive. I'm actually going to throw this, which might not be the best idea, but it's fine. Because with these guys, the way you want to do it is that you want to kill them at the exact same time. Or roughly at the exact same time. Because if you don't, that can lead them to pretty precarious situations. Like this one, where I draw absolutely no block. Oh, Impervious would have been great right now. Hmm. We're fine. Ouch. Ooh, carnage. Nice. Yeah, so I'm just slow. Ooh, wait. That juggernaut also works for my metal size at the end of my turn. Nice. Yeah, these guys. <laughs> They're not the toughest enemy, but I mean, they're kind of tough. Oh, actually, that's a great turn for Impervious. Impervious with that? Oh, it's a great turn. Oh, also, I, don't, I can't believe I haven't explained this. Block does not carry over to the next turn. It goes away at the end of your turn. So that's why if you've been paying attention, I guess. Um, oh, give me some cards. This is a great turn. <gasps> this is clutch. This is actually the clutches thing ever. Oh, I can't draw any more cards though, but I can kill him. <gasps> yes, I can. Nice. Ooh, Whirlwind is a good card though. It is a pretty good card. Yeah, might as well. Okay, hopefully there is something good in this store. Uh -oh. Nope. Oh wait, I have an. Oh, I do have an X card, but the X thing doesn't isn't as good as you think it is. Uh, nothing good. Rage might be the only good card in here. But other than that, I'm just going to buy Rage and get out of here and save my money. Okay. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see the end of Act 3, go ahead and check out the video that's going to come out tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Debarking Cat. And I know I thank you guys a lot, but that's okay. Anyways, goodbye.